Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Naomi Fox Reina here, and I am so excited because the Eclipse portal has closed. It's official. It's done. Oh my goodness. That was really, really intense. So if you guys don't know already, that was a Mars ruled Eclipse portal. Uh, that means that we started with the new moon in Aries which is of course the sign that um, is ruled by Mars. And then we are, we just finished today with a full moon in Scorpio, which is also in traditional astrology ruled by Mars or it's co-ruled by Mars in modern astrology. And so both are warring planets and both have to do with standing up for ourselves, with drawing a line, with boundaries, with protection, with protection of self. And also with us being in Taurus season right now, we, it is also about like the, our physical space that we occupy it was very intense and given that it kicked off with the critical degree of uh, 29 degrees of Aries and then ending in Scorpio and we're at the very end of the Scorpio Taurus axis with the south node in Scorpio and the north node in Taurus like all of that means this was a huge eclipse for endings for things being complete for relationships you may feel that there is like a doneness in a, it could be a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be a work relationship. It could be something, there could be something that maybe it ended a while ago. And then all of a sudden you just feel this completeness today or within the next couple of days of just like, oh yeah, I am permanently done with that thing. I no longer need that energy in my space whatsoever. So if you're catching this live, do hashtag live. And if you're catching the replay, do hashtag replay. So I wanted to just share some thoughts. I, I had a lot of really intense dreams throughout the portal. Um, I'm sure many of you guys did as well. Uh, multiple times that I woke up and I had had dreams that felt more like a vision, which I believe my belief about dreams, and I would love to hear any of your thoughts. I know we have a lot of very spiritually gifted people in here is that, um, there's a few different kinds of dreams. There's the kinds of dreams where you just start processing the, the stuff. It's almost like exhaust fumes, like the stuff of the day. Like if I, if I'm working too late and then I go to bed, I'll usually be dreaming about like running charts and stuff like that. Um, it's just, my brain hasn't shut off. Or if I'm trying to work through a problem in my life or something like that, there's the brain just kind of working through stuff. I also will have dreams where I interact with people in, that I know in real life. And when I wake up and I have those types of dreams, um, it could be somebody I actively know in my life, or it could be somebody I knew before. But when I wake up from those dreams, I check in and see, was I actually interacting with their spirit or was I just dreaming about them? And pretty much if I'm dreaming about a person that I know in real life, there is an actual like soul to soul, spirit to spirit interaction happening in my dreams. And I usually will take some sort of action on those. And then I'll have dreams where I kind of have events that happen and they feel very powerful. It's more like a vision. For, for me personally, it doesn't, I don't feel like I need to go and, and tell the whole world about it. But I, I believe that um, one of the ways that God speaks to us is through our dreams. And um, I know many people feel that way and believe that. And so this dream that I had last night, um, when I woke from it, it felt more like a vision. Um, and I've had a couple of those during this eclipse portal and the energy that I just woke up with, like as soon as my mind reached consciousness, I just heard the words like today is going to be a great day. And that sounds like so simplistic, but if you've ever received that kind of divine, like channeling of information, it's like it, you get like this whole download. Um, and it's, it's also like, it comes packaged with like a whole lot of emotions and a whole lot of information when you get messages like that. And so I could just see like the ripples that went out from myself personally, but I also was feeling that for all of you guys, which is why I posted earlier today saying that I got this, like, I had this really interesting awareness as soon as my mind reached consciousness. And the way I interpret that is that I believe in angels. I believe we have angels around us all the time. And, um, I am so grateful for my angels. Um, I try to connect with them regularly. I try to um, turn my attention towards them and express gratitude. And I personally ask my heavenly father for the angels that he wants to send me. I don't want just any angels because just because they're on the other side does not mean that they have my best interest at heart. But if they are designated and assigned by my great and powerful God who loves me infinitely and only wants the very best for me, I 
that's where I can kind of relax and just like enjoy the the energy that they bring to my space. And I really believe that much of the promptings that we get from heaven come directly from those angels that are assigned to us telling us things. And, um, we, we have, um, we have in some scripture, it says angels speak by the power of the Holy ghost. And so we know that angels are speaking to us like on behalf of God. So I think that many of the promptings that we feel are, yes, they're from God, but there's like that intermediary. And I just love angels and I love learning about them. And so I really think that um, my angels knew the moment that my consciousness had kind of flipped from being in the dream to being awake. And that was the the very first thing that I had this morning was like, today is going to be a great day. And I could see that there are just so many angels around me, but like, this is also about you that there are so many angels around you right now and that you can turn to them and knowing that there's a completion energy that has just happened. You can ask to be shown like what has completed, what do I need to let go of what? And it won't even be like an action that you probably need to take. It'll be more of just like a knowing of like, Oh yeah, that, that was that, that is the thing that has shifted now and it's just done. So, um, I would just would love to hear if this is resonating with you guys um, as far as like other impressions that you've gotten. I know that I'm certainly not the only one that <laughs> gets these type of impressions, but since, you know, this is my um, being so aware of the um, astrological events and these celestial events that are happening. So eclipses are so powerful and so important because there's always at least two of them. And what happens with an eclipse, with a new moon eclipse, the moon is in between the sun and earth. And so it cuts us off from that energy just a little bit. So we are cut off from the sun's energy for just a moment. And the sun represents like our source and our energy. And, um, it is this, um, it, it represents God really in this instance. And so for a moment, we're kind of like having this disconnect and it could just be for a few moments. It could be for hours and, um, depending on the eclipse. And so having that kind of disconnect energy, um, can really cause a powerful reset. Now we know that we're never truly disconnected from God, but that's spiritually and energetically there is, there is a powerful symbolism in what's happening there. And so, um, we started this one with that, with that new moon eclipse and, um, that solar eclipse and, um, moved into this lunar eclipse that we just had today. It was at 1133 mountain time. I'm in mountain time. Um, and so 1134 technically like where I'm physically at, um, but, um, cause running charts, like I'm on the very edge, I'm close to Pacific time. So it was 1134 where I live and, um, I was standing in the UPS store, um, sending some things back from Amazon and the line was just extra long. And, um, I told the clerk, I was like, oh, we're having an eclipse here in like two minutes. And she's like, oh, okay. Um, I was like, I just needed to like tell somebody. Right. Um, and so we, we had this like fullness of energy. So it's actually when we have a lunar eclipse, it's that the earth is blocking the moon. And so the moon has a temporary disconnect as well from the sun that it's a complete, like, um, you know, and of course with a complete eclipse, which isn't as common, um, we, we have that total, total disconnect as opposed to a partial and the moon represents our inner world. So we started this out with like the core of who we are, like where we stand had this momentary, like brief separation of like, let's just reset your energy and your relationship with God. Let's reset all of the direction of where you're going. And so we were in that. And then we had this reset today of our inner world and our emotions. And in that two week window to like, this was a 16 day from like day to day, it was like 15 and a half days. Um, we have like 18 months worth of growth. And I know so many of you guys have been having huge, massive, expansive healing or growth or disaster or chaos or whatever. And some of you guys are like, everything's normal. I don't know. Um, and we also had Mercury retrograde started after we entered the eclipse portal, which is so significant because it started with Mercury direct and then Mercury retrograde. So kind of came back around and Mercury has been trailing backwards this whole time and will continue to stay retrograde until Mother's Day. Mercury goes direct on Mother's Day 
this time. And um, this feels especially important, this particular retrograde, because it turned around inside of that eclipse portal, it's a different energetic um, depth and power. And what I saw before this happened, and I have experienced this myself, and I am curious how many of you guys have, is um, that we're, we're able to kind of go back and re- collect or redo or reclaim parts of ourselves that we had let go of in the past for whatever reason that are supposed to come and join us now. Because there's definitely parts of us that we've let go of that are meant to be let go, like different periods of our life where our thoughts or behavior or actions are just not in alignment with how we are now. But there is an energy of like moving forward that we need to like kind of claim and take with us something that we had left behind. And because of this eclipse portal, we can kind of dive into it and then come forward. And so be watching for that. See what, what are parts of you that you had kind of lost or that you've missed or that you've grieved that because of the nature of that portal, you were able to kind of bring into the now. And um, I would love to hear about that as well in the comments. So I just had all of these thoughts for you guys and wanted to share them with you today. Um, and I also wanted to let you know that, um, of course, you know that I teach life field astrology and human design. And um, my, like, my big why is like what I do here and like what I love about working with all of you guys is I just really believe that the world needs more light-filled astrologers. I really believe that we need more people who understand the movement in the heavens and the, the way that it corresponds with our lives in a light-filled way, which means that it's seen with truth and compassion. Because truth without compassion is, is not truth anymore. That's something else. I'm sure you guys have experienced that, whether on the giving end or the receiving end. And so we need to have that compassion where we have an awareness of the shadow. Um, we don't ignore it, but we also don't, um, we don't operate from a place of thinking that who we really are is our shadow. Our shadow is just pointing us in the direction to kind of guide us. And that is such a tenant of light-filled astrology. And so I'm having a masterclass um, that is about finding the discovering the best tool for success with yourself and with those that you love and being able to really add this um, knowledge and education into your life and all of that. So I'm having a masterclass on Friday, the 12th. So just a week from today, we're going to get together. It's totally free. It's my gift to you. I really want to have you guys come and learn about this amazing tool and see how it applies to your life and see what you can do with it. So I'll drop the link in the comments um, and um, would love to have you guys there. So I just wanted to give you the official like, hey, we're doing this. And it's it's a really exciting thing. I love this masterclass. Um, I love being able to teach you guys. There's not very many things that I do that um, where I make myself available um, at no charge, just because as a projector, I get to protect my energy and I work with my students so much. So, um, really, really love that you guys are here. Thank you so much for being on. Um, I'm sending you all so much love and hope that this eclipse portal has, has shown you what it is that you were hoping to learn, or if it's not what you were hoping that you'll like, you're able to readily recognize what it is that it's here to offer you because there are wells of gifts and there's a good chance that you will continue harvesting the gifts that you received over the last two weeks. Um, some of them are obvious, some of them are less obvious. And um, I'm just sending all of you guys so much love.